It's going to be a quick demonstration of Altair's time sharing basic running on an Altair 8800. Kind of amazing that this old machine could do it. What we're seeing here is two terminals, one of which is doing a listing of Star Trek in memory, that's it. And on the left is another terminal reading from disk to load Star Trek into its memory. So we've got disk I.O. going on at the same time as the program listing. All right, now the second terminal is going to list its copy of Star Trek. And you can see it slows down a bit when you have two things going on once, but for being an old Altair 8800, this is, this is pretty impressive the first time I got time sharing basic running on the Altair. All right, the one on the right is just completed. You can see the one on the left speed up a bit now because of course it's all by itself. The other terminal is just idle looking for input. Okay, we got it running now on the right terminal. And it takes quite a while to initialize Star Trek even when uh, just one user is working. But we can still see the listing going on on terminal two and terminal number one there is loading or initializing Star Trek. All right, so Star Trek is running on the first terminal and take a look at the one in the back. Its listing is complete. We can go ahead and run it over there as well. And just back and forth here showing you have two users running independently on an old clunky 8080 processor, two megahertz Altair 8800. I was really surprised this all worked and it's really not too bad for two people, especially if your program was something that used a lot of um, terminal input. 